Hey there again, Vault76 fans and basically YouTube lovers who also love Fallout. This is Lanik here on Lanik's Quest. So right now I'm going to show you how to harvest tick blood. But you need tick blood to actually get um, stim packs. And you'll make the blood packs off of here. But this is one of the easiest ways I have found to get tick blood to make into blood packs and help you out to make nothing but stim packs. And so... With that, let me show you right now on the map where we are at. And so, with that, I'm going to show you we are at treetops. And so, when I zoom out just a little bit, it is directly below Harper's Ferry. And so, Harper's Ferry, if a lot of you don't know where that one is, we can zoom out even more and then come all the way over here and see where Vault 76 is. So, it's kind of like a diagonal, a diagonal line. But either way, you're going to want to come all the way over here to Harper's Ferry, go directly down, and you will see treetops. And when you see treetops, that is the place where you are going to spawn. So if you even go over to, like I put a marker here for you to see. So treetops, you're going to have to run to this marker. Either way. And so it's right below 108, right below, you know, Sunday, Brothers Cabin, all that, you know, like the borough south. It's kind of like a little triangle zone. But anyway, we are going from treetops to here. And so with that, you will always spawn at treetops. And so you can actually do this server hop, repeat, rinse, repeat, do it over and over and over and over again. But let's get into that. So you do not need any certain armor. You can just be in like your regular power armor, like right now, and like as you guys always see me in my excavate armor, it's just because I can hold more weight. Now, you know, I don't have any preference of like, hey, you know, I need to be in X01 or, you know, anything else or even excavator armor. I just, I mean, this is just what I choose. I just like it. All right. And so, boom. All right. Pull our gun out. Now, we're going to run towards the marker. All right. And so, I planted that marker, which, like I said, you can see again here, hold on, I'll even show you once more. It's right over here. And so basically below 108, below Sunday Brothers Cabin, but this is the spot that you want to show on here. And so you're going to see about either, anywhere between like 6 to 12 ticks. Well, another thing that you want to have on you is, let's look at it. Boom. Oh, I didn't level up. Mm, scrub. Scrub. But the one thing that you really want on is Butcher's Bounty. So, if we go and look at Butcher's Bounty, mine is 2 star on here. I have a 3 star, but I, I just don't use it. But what you want to do is 60% chance to find extra meat when you search an animal corpse. So, what this means is, is that you'll get more meat. Well, with ticks, this means that you will actually get more tick blood. So, that's what you need to make snipbacks. I mean, I didn't make the rules. This is just the way they did it. But make sure you have Butcher Bounty one, two, or three on. And it's easy to do. I mean, like I said, look up at Perception. Mine's at 12 because I'm a commando build. But make sure you have Butcher's Bounty on. And when you go and search those ticks, you have a possibility of getting even double the blood and that is what you need to make the stim pack. So I'm telling you right now, make sure you got Butcher's Bounty on. If you don't have it on, get it. I'm telling you, get it. Because this is the, one of the easiest ways to get tick blood besides uh, going to Dolly Sods and getting those ticks over there also. And remember also, which I'll probably have to show you in this video too, is that even though the ticks are dead and that they killed them, you can go up to a tick and actually click on them and select Y for Xbox or I mean whatever whatever you're using. I mean it might be computer, PC or uh, also PlayStation. But we're doing an Xbox video here. But anyway, when you click Y on there, it'll search them and then you will actually be able to find more tick blood it doesn't search for meat on this one which is kind of weird i thought it was weird but hey you know it just happens so make sure you got butcher's bounty on and then we're going to keep on running this way which i'm 
I'm stuck. But we're gonna run this way. We come in. We come into a lot of traffic over here too, like um, normally scorched. We also get a uh, super mutants, but right there is a death claw nest. Right here, right here is death claw nest. So there's death claws that do spawn here, just to let you know. And we we don't worry about them. We're just trying to go around them, keep on running until you get to the spot. Okay, so here's a spot, and right here, this is where we get the ticks. Oh, there's one right there. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. One, two, and usually there's anywhere between six to nine here, normally. But I'm gonna show you what I mean about searching them. So we're gonna hit search for Butcher's Bounty. Look at that. We got tick blood. Boom. We didn't have tick blood on that first one. Let's see what we get on here. Boom. Another tick blood. Look at that. One, two. The first two, we got tick blood. So just move around, move around, come back over here. And this is the place you want to be. This whole little shed. Look at that. Another one. Boom. Another one. Boom. So that's four. That's four right there. Some of them disappear, as you just saw. But, I mean, don't worry about it too bad. I mean, there's going to be more. There's Look at that. There's already more. Boom. Kill that one off. And, like I said, just hit Y to search them. Why? There you go. Oh, look at that. Another tick blood. So, right there, I think we got six tick blood off of just a few ticks. Which is, it's money. That's what you want. You want the tick blood. Look at that. We got even more. And crouch down before even going inside. And look. There's going to be more ticks inside here. Aim, shoot. And aim, shoot. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six already? So we got six ticks so far. And we didn't even do anything really. Look at it. We got Mentez ticks. Okay. Let's look at this. Search it. Oh, another tick blood. So you can actually rinse and repeat this over and over again in the area. All it's going to do is it's just going to launch you back over to the house. Which I'll show you the house again. And this one didn't give us nothing, but, you know, sorry. Sucks to suck, but hey, here you go. Let's look over here at where we first started. And so it's gonna bring you back to treetops once you actually leave. Like you can actually press start. Here, I'll press start for you. Social, go up here and you can leave the world and come right back here and what it'll spawn you at is over here at treetops. So with that, you can just make unlimited stim packs once you actually get all the antiseptic and steel and everything like that in order and look at it says caution that means that there are even more ticks here so let's look around looking 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 oh there's another one boom look at that and then you can search that one too as long as you got butcher's bounty on i'm telling you this is the best way to grab tick blood to make stim packs and these tick blood it takes two tick blood to make one blood pack and one blood pack will give you two to also add to the stem packs and so from the stem packs you'll be able to make anywhere between I mean like say we get like 10 tick blood and so that's a blood pack so you get five blood packs from the five blood packs you want to getting another 10 so you get basically I think it's 10 blood packs and then you wind up doing stem pack creation over at the uh, chemistry station. And what it'll do is it will give you even more if you have the chemist perk on. So if you want to know about that, here, I'll even press start. Or actually have to look over here and look in my perk cards. And because I didn't level up, I mean, sorry guys, I just didn't think about it before I started this video. But all right. So what you want in is go into intelligence, intelligence, sorry, kind of scrabbling my words, but look at intelligence. You get double the quantity when you craft chems. So make sure you have intelligence on too, because it will give you two stim packs instead of one when you create it from a blood pack. And the same thing will happen with blood packs. It will give you two blood packs. So you will actually double, double, and double, and double, and you will be like a stim pack god. All I can do is just tell you, hey, come over here, look at this place, and just keep on running around home. Let me squat down, 
I mean, look at I'm hidden right now, but I have like the most I've gotten out of here was I had twelve ticks come around here and kill me. But when I look through their stem packs, or they're not stem packs, but when I, when I look through their blood, I wound up leaving here with anywhere between like eight and fourteen blood on average. So eight to fourteen tick blood you'll get. Which will create you anywhere between four and seven blood packs, which will double up if you also have the perk. So, I'm going to tell you right now, this is one of the best ones I've seen so far. I had a buddy who, like I said, ran over here, and then he needed to do something, and I was like, okay, man, whatever, we'll get it done, and then I found this. And I was like, man, maybe I can uh, just server hop and do this over again. And so I server hopped, boom, they were right there again. And so this is one of those rinse and repeats, get the tick blood to make your stim packs. If you think that you cannot make enough stim packs, trust me, this is the way to do it. So, like I said, glad to help you out. Make sure you know where you're at. I will show you again. Go up here. Look. You will spawn here after leaving the spot at treetops. But if you need another location, look straight up. You have Thunder Mountain, Berkeley Spring Station. And when you first get into treetops, Harper's Ferry is right here. So treetops is right there. And Vault 76 is way over here. So, like I said, you can actually just literally leave this spot. Just, you know, press start. Ivory Social. Go up here. And leave world. As soon as you leave world, you can jump right back into it. And even get more. And so... This keeps happening over and over and over again. So, like I said, glad I could help you. But this is the way to get the stem packs nowadays. And if you don't want to go buy them, do it this way, and you will get non-stop stem packs all night long. I'm not saying that you can make money off this, but you can make money off this if you do it long enough. And this is just the way it's done. Like some people are like, hey, no, Lanik, how do you get so many stem packs? This is one way I get them. Alright? So, either way, I'm glad you saw the video. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, tell me what you think about my videos. And if you don't like my videos, I mean, please, you know, I like criticism too. So, let me know. Alright? Atlantic, out.